Okay, so for this project, we are going to be um, cutting up some uh, cabs that I, uh, or cab freeforms that I just drew out using like caps and so forth um, on some different slab material. Um, most of it, I do know what it is. Some, some of it, I do not. Um, so uh, if you guys recognize it, let me know down in the comments. Um, the first piece is this one right here. Uh, ignore the name that's on it. Um, but it is a piece of amethyst sage. Um, so we'll be cutting that out of that piece. Uh, here's another piece of amethyst sage. Um, we'll be cutting this out. Uh, this is a piece of uh, uh, jade. This is a piece of some uh, petrified wood. Some uh, mukite jasper. Just another piece of dragon blood. Cut a square with that. Um, this is a piece of picture jasper. I think it's a Oahe picture jasper. Uh, could be wrong. I can't remember fully. Um, not sure. I think this is... I'm not sure what type of uh, agate this is. But uh, has some beautiful bands on it, so may get a couple caps out of it. This is a piece of Montana agate. I think this is mushroom rhyolite, but I could be wrong. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. It's a beautiful stone. This is some Freedom Jasper. There's the back side. This is some polka dot agate. Thought this right here to look like a little mountain scene with a little nice either a sun or the moon. Thought it'd be cool to cut it out. Anyways, let's go ahead and move all this off and get started. Okay, I got majority of my cabs. They're not the perfect shape, but we're gonna fix that in just a moment. Just go ahead and pick them all up. Well, that one needs a little bit more sawing to do. I'll set that one aside for right now.
And I think that is it for uh, all the cabs. So we're going to take this over to the flat lap. See you guys in a second. Okay, so right here, we are going to take the... Uh, um, we're going to grind down the edge, just make them a little bit more circle, more of the shape that I'm going for. Um, if you do not have a flat lap, uh, you can use sandpaper, um, um, and that will work just fine, like a 80 grit, 100 grit, 120, uh, up to 180. This is a 180 disc right here. Um, we're just going to be working down the edges of all the pieces that I cut down, so that way we can save on time, on the tumbling time, and skip stages one and two. Um, but uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to worry about grinding these down, then you can always just toss them in the tumbler on stage one. And I have no power. <laughs> Give me just a minute. Okay, so since we have our uh, cabs now, uh, I grinded them down on the flat lap uh, to grind all the edges off, uh, sharp corners and so forth, so that way I could skip stages one and two um, for the tumbling process. If you um, don't have anything to grind down the corners on, you can just start on stage one, and put these in your tumbler and tumble them for about uh, probably four days to a week. Uh, depending on the hardness of the stones that you are tumbling and that you have cut down and shaped. Um, I, I'm just on a deadline. I'm trying to get these up on my Etsy page to uh, sell them as pendants uh, by Christmas. Um, so you can find these on there for sure. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you each of the piece. Hold on. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you what each one looks like. Uh, you have some polka dot agate. Um, we're just going to shove it into, if, if you're starting on stage three like me, um, you're just going to shove this into some media um, to help keep them safe from cracking and um, uh, breaking up. This piece right here is some, uh, I think it's Oahe Picture Jasper. Um, we're going to shove that one in there. Um, here's another one, Amethyst Sage. I think there's actually two Amethyst Sages in here. But there is, where is it at? There you go. Both these are the sages. We're gonna shove them into the media. And uh, here's another piece of Oahe picture, Jasper. Shove that one in there. Um, this one is some petrified wood as well. This one is as well. Um, this one is some agate. I'm not sure what the actual trade name is for it. Um, but, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, this one is a piece of Mookite, uh, Jasper. And this one is, uh, Freedom Jasper. And then Polka Dot Agate. And this one is uh, another agate. I'm not sure what the state or what the uh, trade name is. And then these three pieces right here, I believe, are mushroom rhyolite. I could be wrong. Uh, so if you recognize it, let me know down in the comments. But pretty much just put them all in the tumbler, uh, like so. Just press them down in the media um, so that way they don't clash against each other and break or flake or chip or anything of the sort. So uh, I'm going to put it in like this pretty much like so. Probably just do it a little bit more real quick. And then we're gonna put, um, this is 500 uh, grit. 
stage three, I'm gonna put in, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a tablespoon, maple tablespoon and a half. And then add some water to it. Or just, just under the uh, stones. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it together and put it on the tumbler for, uh, let's say a week or four days, four or five days, somewhere in there. Um, and then I will, uh, will we'll update the video and do it again um, on the final stage for polish for a few days, just to get a little bit of a polish. And there we go. I'll see you guys in a few days or a week. Okay, so it's been about four days on stage number three. We're gonna open it up. Okay, so now since I have all of them washed off and dried, we're gonna take a look at them real quick. And to see how they're looking, you can see there's still a couple like ed edges that didn't get rounded out, but, but that's more my fault because I didn't have this in the tumbler for as long as I should have on stage number three um, but this is fine for me because I'm uh, kind of rushing this anyways um, Mukai Jasper this one's looking pretty nice both of these are Amethyst Sage and it feels like it's wearing down like the uh, quartz is a little bit softer than the red banding going on there. So there's a little bit more texture. But uh, I think these pieces should turn out nice. And let's see, this one and this one came from the same slab. This is agate. And I see that it's kind of a little, it's not as sharp of an of a edge there, but Again, it's fine for what I'm going for. Um, this piece is pretty sick. I love the bands and colors combinations with that red right there. Super sick. This one's for, for me um, and so forth. And uh, these came from the same slab. Again, I think this is like mushroom rhyolite or maybe it's like a thunder egg uh, rhyolite. Um, yeah, I hear you, coconut. Turning out really beautiful. I actually want to get more of this stuff with how beautiful it is. I think my favorite piece out of the three pieces is this one with those little nice orbs. Very beautiful. And uh, and this one right here, polka dot agate. This one is a nice little picture scene like a wintry picture, pic, picture scene, a mountain, and either the moonlight uh, in a snowstorm or uh, a sun and so forth. It's not perfectly round, but it's fine for me. This stuff is taking like a really nice polish. I like the polka dot agate a lot. And this is a Wahi jas picture jasper, I believe. A very beautiful picture scene mountains in the desert and let's see this one and this one is some petrified wood which is taking a really nice polish so these were like I said tumbling on stage three for about three to four days probably shouldn't tumble them for probably about a week maybe a week and a half and then go to stage four but like I said I'm rushing this for Christmas um, but uh, so yeah, that is the update for these. I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and put these back in the barrel. And just kind of layer them.
and then we're going to have this in polish for probably another three to four days and uh, to finish it up and then the pieces that I don't keep for myself or for uh, gifts I will probably put back in the tumbler for a little bit longer some water in there don't want to forget the most important part or one of the most important parts And uh, anyways, yeah, so I will see you guys in, let's say, three to four days. And we will do the final update, and uh, see you soon. Okay, so it's been about three to four days, and uh, this is a update. So, we can, uh, so we're going to take a look and see what they look like. I am doing a voiceover because when I originally recorded this video, I uh, had my mic turned off. Okay, so we, now we are going to uh, turn the camera over here, here and we're going to wash off all of the media and the cabs that uh, I've been tumbling. And then after we get them washed off, we will set them aside and take a closer look to see how they turned out. Okay, so we are going to now take a old toothbrush and some dish soap and just rinse them off a little bit extra and then take a closer look. Okay, so now since they're all nice and washed off, I am going to get a paper towel and dry them off as I show them to you. So let's turn the camera over. The first one we're going to look at, uh, this one is called Mookite Jasper. Um, I believe that it turned out really nice. It has a beautiful mirror-like finish uh, polish on it. Um, and I love the colors and the textures and everything in it. Very beautiful. Definitely one of my favorites from this uh, batch. Uh, the next one is, this one is a lace agate. Um, I'm not too familiar or too sure of the actual trade name for it, so if you do recognize it, please let me know down in the uh, down in the description. But uh, anyways, uh, when I checked this one earlier, this stone and the big uh, picture jasper stone got stuck together, so you can see that the finish, the polish, isn't uh, perfect all around. So this one will have to go back in in another time. Um, but that's fine because this one is for me. Uh, in my personal collection but uh this looks like a picture scene to me like uh, hills on like another planet with a space station landed that looks like a dust storm blowing in and then with like the milky way and another planet in the background that looked pretty cool wanted to share that with you guys definitely a favorite very beautiful This next piece is Amethyst Sage. Let me dry it off real quick. And before I show you that one, at least you grab this one too. So both of these are Amethyst Sage. Um, they did take a nice polish, but as you can see, there is some texture. So if you plan on uh, tumbling Amethyst Sage, um, do not expect it to be nice and smooth. Some of the material that's mixed in with it is softer than other parts so it definitely has more of a rough texture to it but still smooth once it's been tumbled but it does take a nice polish and I am happy the way it turned out it's still a beautiful uh, two beautiful uh, cabochons uh, 
Uh, this next piece um, is I think I think it's mushroom rhyolite. Um, if you recognize it, let me know in the comments. Again, I'm not too sure about this one, um, but it's definitely rhyolite or jasper. Um, this is the second piece. This is my favorite of the three pieces that I cut out of that slab. Uh, I think it mainly because of the orbs there and the nice green color to it. But they did take a beautiful polish to them. Here's the last one. Very beautiful uh, stone. And let's see. The next one is... Uh, this one is, I believe it's from Oregon, but it's petrified or agatized wood. Um, and this one took a phenomenal pol polish on it, as you can see. And the colors are very vivid and very beautiful. And this is the second one from that same slab. And the last, no, there's this one and then there's another one, both are polka dot agate. These took also a beautiful polish and I plan on tumbling more of these in the future. This one is the picture scene, kind of reminds me of like a snowy storm with either the moon or the sun shining through. This is Freedom Jasper. Uh, also known as Gary Green Jasper. The brown part right there uh, didn't take as nice of a polish as the rest of it, but it's still a beautiful specimen, beautiful cap. And I um, feel like I'm leaving out one. Oh yes, there is this one and the round one. Uh, this is not Oahe Picture Jasper. This is Biggs Picture Jasper. I believe I got it wrong when I first was talking about it in the beginning of the video. This one turned out really beautiful. Definitely a favorite. They're all favorites. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please make sure to like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, share this with your friends and family on social media. Uh, it will help my channel grow and I will deeply appreciate it if you guys are interested in checking out my channel sponsor which is High Tech Diamond there will be a affiliate link down in the description and use the, car the uh, promo code RHA for 10% off on all accessories excluding machines, wa extended warranties and gift cards. But uh, anyways uh, let me know also down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video um, and what your favorite piece was and so forth. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Rock on. Go find some cool rocks. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.